Alright y'all, got a nice little video for y'all today. Um, yeah. So what I'm doing, I got a nice video for y'all. I'm going to show y'all how to do a, like a little vocal booth setup. Except you're only going to have a, you're going to have a mic uh, filter. But it's going to be inside of this little uh, box right here. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this foam here, which I've already traced out. The, the measurements that I'm going to be using for this is going to be, in case you're uh, interested in making your own, it's going to be, uh, the sides are going to be 5 and 1 quarter times 10 and 1 quarter. And the, uh, the bottom is going to be 6 times 5. And it's going to be 6 times 5. Times 5, right? And um, I'm a little short right here, so I'm going to cut these out an inch a piece times um, six to make up for the difference. And then to use um, what I'm going to use to for adhesive, I was going to get some adhesive spray to put in here and spray the inside and then just stick it to the inside. But instead, I'm going to use something called uh, liquid nails. Turn this around so you can see it. You can find liquid nails at your local um, hardware store. Now I was going to go with this stuff here called uh, all-purpose Loctite Grab. But uh, that stuff dries up pretty fast. So um, I wasn't able to uh, use that unfortunately. I apologize. But that stuff dries a little bit faster than what I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do here is... Uh, I'm gonna start cutting out, cutting out this area here, which would be the uh, the top and the bottom. And this stuff should cut pretty good. This foam. My tape measure was a uh, very, very, very challenging. Now I know that sounds LD or illiterate that it was challenging, but Look at this big ass tape measure. I got a tape measure that's this big. It would have been perfect for this job. This one here is if you're gonna measure, you know, a a piece of drywall or something. And I'm measuring this little teeny bit of a uh, styrofoam board here. Alright. So I've cut this piece here. And now I'm gonna go across. And you can fast forward this if you want. You know, I'm not expecting you to sit here for the whole thing. If you've already got an understanding of how to cut styrofoam, but get you a pair of scissors that, you know, can really cut. And as you see, these pieces are coming off pretty good here. So I'm cutting this. And um, this board's been, this styrofoam's been sitting here for a while. And um, it's a little dusty, but the back side's a lot better, so no one's going to see the side that I'm cutting right here. The exact term for this a reflection filter. You know, you got pop filters, which is um, which is this. It's a pop filter. So when you're talking, it takes out all the P's and the S's when you're when you're uh, in the booth and all that. You know what this is already. And then I even have a little shock mount type of filter on the top, which is kind of like what I'm doing here. It's a little filter at the top as well. But uh, from my experience, that kind of muffles, you know, your your sound. So this right here, if you see it, this one's made by SC Electronics, and uh, I'm on Sweetwater's website. And this is $88. You see that? It's $88. And that's made by SC Electronics. It's a reflection filter. It's portable vocal booth uh, white. And it's nothing more than what I'm doing here. And that's $88. So this is what I'm trying to show you. So I'm going to make one now. And it's going to be you know 
probably ten dollars if that you probably can get this from some of your household products you know at home which is basically what I did and um, I got the box from somewhere I think somebody gave me a gift basket with a whole bunch of men's uh, shaving cream and all this type of type of stuff <laughs> you know I don't you know what I mean so I mean I didn't pay nothing for it so uh, now you have your first piece and it might be a little bigger than what I need matter of fact it is a little bigger than what I need so you just have to fit it to your own uh, desire here but I'll put it all in here and I might not even cut nothing it doesn't have to be too fancy if it sticks in there and lines up it sticks in there and lines up I might cut a little bit off of this side I'm just seeing how everything matches how everything goes in there now the sides they go in there great I can push the sides in all the way in I mean excuse me the top and the bottom And then I that remember that one inch piece I was telling you about it's probably gonna be too short but it's okay I got more I'm not worried about that I got this whole piece here actually I don't have that whole piece there alright you know like I know I'm gonna try not to cut anything else I'm just gonna fit it in and make it work you know glue it in there because if I can get it in there to fit then I don't have to worry about nothing later and I'm gonna turn this piece around and I might cut a little bit off right I don't have to struggle with it I'm not gonna cut much I might cut about three-eighths off of it off of this one nothing more nothing less and use it somewhere else right do the same with this side I'll show you how to do this real quick I'll cut this piece here piece or a piece where the mic won't, the mic's gonna come through and I already got a piece cut out here but I'm gonna sit it back here and draw a circle and then when I twist off the top I'll draw the circle right now so when I twist off the top of this thing I've already got things where I need to go so there you go I'll cut the top out right there <clears throat> Cut a little hole right here. And that can be adjusted. Cut the hole out, and then the piece on the bottom of the microphone screws up to the microphone. I'll show you. This microphone wouldn't sit on this stand normally. But the reason it does because of this piece at the bottom. So I take this piece at the bottom and I screw this out. And now I can pull this mic off this stand. So when I screw it back in, I've already, that's perfect. I've already cut it to the size of this hole. So if I cut this out exactly where it is, this will automatically screw in. And whatever's left on the outside, uh, it has to be tight. 
so your mic can still fit on top of that. came up with for the final finale if you call it that of this video I got the mic stand piece right here came on the uh, desktop mount the desktop mic stand and this go this went on top this screwed onto the bottom of the mic so I'm gonna screw this out right Gently sit this mic down or sit it off to the side. It really don't matter at this point right now. And then what I'm going to do is take this piece that the mic stand was on and stick it through that opening that this little box already had conveniently for me to do this video. And then, you see that? that's sitting down in there like this like so and now I'll take the microphone well before I even do that be careful how you sit down your microphone because I'm going to take the piece that sits on the bottom of the microphone and push it up through this hole this hole that I cut out went in there perfectly so now what that allows me to do is come around here and take this piece and stick it inside of that bowl that I popped through the bottom and your mic your yours might not work out like this I'm not, I don't know but for mine this was perfect I stick that down in there like that And I had to take the bend of this mic clip thing and hold it. So now my hands got this crap all over it that I'm trying not to get on my mic because it'll never come off. But you see where I'm going with this. Anyway, stick the mic inside of there so you can see. You heard that little click. That means the mic is in there. Now, I lift the mic up and I take the back of the mic right here and I just turn that screw in the bottom. And that should be tightening the microphone up on the stand. And I see it turning from the bottom, so I know I'm getting it. So 
once it turns all the way, there you go. There you go. Beautiful. How to make your own reflection filter, do it yourself. And take the rest of your, uh, you put it right on the stand here. And turn it. Turn the stand. I'm going to show everything to you. I'm going to show it to you. You're wondering, did this really work? Yeah, it worked. <laughs> there it is. Still plug your microphone to the bottom underneath here. You got the mic facing the way you want it to go. You know, and you don't, I wouldn't make the foam at the bottom permanent because you still got to get your mic in here. But I'm going to cut two pieces anyway that I already have. These two one inch pieces over here. I'd put them in there like that. You know, however you can get it. Wedge your two pieces in there just like that on both sides. And then boom, you're good to go. Get as much in there as you can. And that sound should stay right in this hole. And then you'll be good to go. Alright, so that's your reflection filter for under 10 bucks. Grand Time Media. I'm out.